key part of this where people are, they've just sold their business. They're not wanting a second or third job. They're not wanting involvement. New construction is a game changer. And I can't stress that enough. Again, I did thousands of rehabs and bulk foreclosures. So did my partner. And it's a different game. There are, there are three legs of the stool out there, I think, for real estate. There's great funds out there. There's good syndications. And there's direct property ownership. You know, and, and I think it is a three-legged stool. I invest in all three. And so, again, we step in on the direct property ownership because a lot of companies will not do what we do anymore. You know, they're only going to build for the hedge funds. They're only going to build, and we build for those guys. Honestly, though, I get a lot more, and I know my partner does as well, for the almost 1,000 investors that we've created uh, just a, a legacy for them, you know, that they're leaning on now and they're seeing residual income. And that's where I think we step in for clients like this. Because if they were running that active business, they built it up, they sold it for $5 million, I can tell you, knowing from most of the active businesses I've seen, this is going to be a lot more passive. Not completely, like a fund or syndication, but it also gives them full control to have this portfolio for them, their grandchildren, however they wanting to, to place this. Um, and again, a key part of this, where people are, they've just sold their business. They're not wanting a second or third job. They're not wanting involvement. New construction is a game changer. And I can't stress that enough. Again, I did thousands of rehabs and bulk foreclosures. So did my partner. And it's a different game. There's a different involvement. You're buying houses in the 1940s and 50s. You can, you can do all new roof, heating, cooling, plumbing, update kitchens, bath. We saw what's called the three-year curse. Didn't matter if we did all that. At three years, I knew for my own portfolio, I had to up my repair budgets and I was more involved. And, uh, and that's why we don't do those anymore. They can be great properties. I still own them. But for most of our po- people that we work with, like your client you just described, that $5 million person who just cashed out, they're not wanting to deal with tougher properties, with more maintenance and repairs, more turnover. They're wanting something a little more steady, a little more crank style. And that's what new construction provides. 